Hey, what's up guys, it's Sutter2. Um, I just wanna show you guys some really cool things that I found out with my Surface Pro. Um, it is the screen mirroring feature. I have a 65 inch Sony Bravia 4K XBR 850 model. Um, it is very awesome because one of the cool features it has on it is the availability to do screen mirroring. So if I click the screen mirroring application, this pops up on my TV. And then if I go down on my tablet, um, I'll zoom in and show you guys real quick, but yeah. Um, it actually asked me to find a device and I'm going to click my Sony Bravia right there. So now it is, you know, asking for a pin. If you look on the TV, it's showing me the pin. So, uh, I'll zoom out real quick. Yep, there we go. Alright, so it's asking me for the pin. I'm going to type that in real quick. Let's see. Boom. And now it is acquiring picture and it is preparing to screen mirror. Give it a few seconds and boom. Now I have my surface on my television. So um, as you can tell, it is mirroring my screen. You know, let's see here. We can probably tell anything I do right there it is like half a second delay. Um, I'm using my pen. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Um, and one of the cool features is, the only downside is that I think it only resolutes 1080p. So if I look at the screen resolution option, yep, it only does 1080p for multiple monitors. Let's see if I extend it. Duplicate, let's extend. Boom, apply that. Do. Yep, only 1080p. So that's all it's going to allow me to do, um, unfortunately. Now I'm going to put this back to duplicate. So that's one of the cool features um, on my Surface that a lot of people didn't know. Um, you can screen mirror, it's got the technology built into it. So <clears throat> now, next, I'm going to show you the HDMI version. So I'm going to hook up an HDMI cable right here uh, into the surface directly and see if it will mirror, you know, the same exact thing. So let's uh, turn off the screen mirroring right now. Project, let's disconnect. All right, so we are going to switch the HDMI probably to HDMI 2. I'll plug this in real quick and plug it into my surface. This is the first time I've actually hooked it into my Surface 2. I've done it to my Pro. So now that that's in, okay. See, we have the Surface hooked up down there with the HDMI cable. It is hooked into a little mini HDMI adapter. Um, so it's coming in straight from the side of the TV. But yep. All right, so let's see how this works. I'm going to change the source on the television. So it is HDMI 2. All right, it is displaying in 1080p, so that's straight with the HDMI cable. Now let's see if it also allows me to do 4K, because my Pro actually does. So let's extend this display again, and apply the settings. Okay. Yep, so it's actually only allowing the TV itself to do 1080p. So it's not letting me do anything higher than that, unfortunately. Um, that sucks, but I guess that's whatever. So, okay. So that's one of the things I just wanted to test you guys. Now I'm going to show you the same exact thing on my, so my uh, Surface Pro 256. So that's going to be this one right here. I'm going to switch this keyboard off. Okay, and then I'm going to put this one on. Disconnect that. Put that away. Alright, so we got the 256 surface. And this actually needs a DisplayPort adapter. So I went out and bought a DisplayPort adapter. It's a Rocketfish one from Best Buy. It was the cheapest one I could find. It actually works really well. Um, 
So I'm going to plug that in right here on the side. And now I'm going to plug in my HDMI cable. So now that that's in, it should display up on the TV. So let's see here. Yep. All right. So we have that in. I've already done this before, so um, it's actually, you know, let's see. All right, what are we doing here? All right, here we go. All right, so right now I'm not, you know, extending the displays at all. I'm just screen mirroring it. So right now, if you look here, my surface is actually outputting 4K. So if you go to screen resolution, and we go, that's the surface display. But now if I go to the Sony display, it's actually outputting that. Look at that, hold on, let me zoom in for you. That's pretty awesome. 3840 by 2160, which is 4K resolution. And that's coming from my little Surface tablet right down there. It's pretty cool, right? So um, the only downside is it will not mirror 4K, so you'd have to run it as an extended display. But um, if you go in and actually check, I could actually turn this into f like 4096 by 2160 um, as well. But that's running on my you know, Sony 4K TV. So it's actually outputting 4K resolution, which is pretty dang awesome for this little tablet. Um, and that, just going back in here, I can go back to the surface display. It will still uh, resolute 1080p. Um, that's the highest it's going to do. And then, you know, I can extend it. I can duplicate, but it will only duplicate at 1080p. So, show you that real quick. Yep, so now it's showing the same exact thing on both screens. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty cool. It's something that a lot of people don't know about. Um, so I'm going to go turn this back to uh, 4K. And yeah, so just to let you guys know. All right, so what I'm going to do is pull up a little YouTube video. And then you can do like search like 4K videos. But yeah, I mean they have a lot of 4K content coming up uh, a lot more. Um, so you can actually view some really cool things here. And then all you do is go to settings, go to quality, and do 4K. So yeah, I mean, that's really awesome. So you can actually output 4K videos on the TV straight from my Surface Pro 256. I mean, I don't, I'm don't. i pretty sure the other ones will as well. They run on the same graphics chip, so I um, just want to show you guys right there. This is Sutta 2, giving you some more info about the Surface Pro. Peace.